，有请 AMB 全球副总裁兼大中华区总裁潘晓明先生致辞。各位尊敬的合作伙伴，还有我们媒体朋友们，大家早上好！欢迎大家的光光临啊！也感谢大家百忙之中抽出时间啊，来参加我们今天的新闻发布会。那下面我就转成英文了。Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm very pleased、uh, to representing the AMD Great China to welcome everyone here at Taipei Computex. Uh, so welcome, and、uh, also thank you very much、uh, for your taking time to join our press conference here. Twenty、uh, seventeen、uh, is very very significant to AMD.、Uh, I'm sure everybody understands we have a lot of the good reasons we can, but just one reason I want to highlight is twenty seventeen is a very significant year for AMD presence in Taiwan. Because this is a 30 years birthday, so let's give the AMD Taiwan a big congratulations. And、uh, also, the, we are really very proud of the accomplishment that AMD Taiwan team has made in the past 30 years. And also, we are very grateful for you, for our customers, to give us the big support from the customers. Outstanding partners, as well as our media friends. So thank you very much.、Uh, we all know that as a leading player in the industry, AMD is very much committed to bring the innovation and the choices to our high-performance computing and graphics to bring more choices to our end user and customers. So today, we are going to share. Very exciting details and update of many of our 2017 products, and、uh, including our consumer commercial Ryzen processors, and also including our、uh, IPIC server processors, and also our very high-end the Ryzen, the Vega graphic architecture, and、uh, also I, I'm sure everybody has the opportunity. To experience the demo systems、uh, provided by our OEMs, and also all these OEMs provided the system based on the AMD latest technology. So now, with the very greatest pleasure,、uh, let's welcome our president and CEO Lisa to come to the stage to share the strategy and innovations to all of us. Welcome, Lisa. <laughs> Graphics that we can put together in components, in systems, 
as well as in custom solutions. And so we're very, very proud of that capability. And for us, the single most important thing driving our innovation and our investments is high performance computing. The idea is computing is getting more and more important in our life and is affecting everything that we do. When you talk about applications like gaming, PCs, VR and AR, the cloud, all of these require high performance computing and it's extremely, extremely exciting to be innovating in this world. Now when you look at the markets that we believe are the most exciting over the next few years, they are the data center, immersive devices, and in immersive devices we include both um, high performance graphics, professional graphics, as well as console graphics, and the PC market. And so today at Computex, we're going to give you a flavor of our entire product line. Um, a little bit on our servers and our immersive computing in the uh, graphics area, but we're going to spend a lot of time on our PC roadmap and where we're going over the next um, year or two. So, hope you'll enjoy our press conference today. So let me start first with the data center. The data center has incredible innovation going on, not just now, but really over the last five years and over the next five years. And what's really been driving the data center is really the incredible amount of data that all of us are together putting, whether you're talking about Facebook, email, instant messaging, all of these things. And what the data center requires is actually very different things. So there's no longer one size fits all in the data center. The data center is actually a very, very heterogeneous in terms of specific workloads. So we require high performance, we require more flexibility, we require more security, and we also require better total cost of ownership. And to do that, you need both high performance CPUs as well as high performance GPUs in that type of environment. <coughs> so we're very, very proud and excited to provide a new family of CPUs that we call the EPIC family. And EPIC is really designed for today's data center. It's the idea that we have optimized for today's workloads, that we've really thought about not just CPU performance, but really how to put together the whole system. And we've really thought about how we can ensure that uh, the users in the data center are able to optimize for their specific application. So these are the key design tenants around EPIC. Now, I'll give you a little bit of flavor of what we can offer with the EPIC family of processors. Um, it really is designed for next generation workloads. So we thought about how do we ensure that we get more performance through more cores. So our cores are 32 cores on a single socket, 64 cores on a dual socket. We have more memory bandwidth than the competition. We have more I.O. than the competition and we have dedicated security. And together, these give us a very, very significant leadership two-socket platform. And then as we think about the platforms overall, in addition to the dual-socket platforms, we also wanted to really innovate in the single-socket platform. Because from our standpoint, it's not just about CPU performance, it's also about the total system design including the I.O. capability and the memory capability. And what EPIC offers in our single socket designs is the opportunity to be extremely competitive on performance. So one EPIC processor is actually um, equivalent or greater than half of the dual socket market today. But with that, we offer unconstrained I.O. and unconstrained memory bandwidth. And so that allows you to really develop fairly disruptive systems in the market that reduce operating expense, reduce power consumption, and have up to a 30% total cost of ownership advantage. And so I'll give you just a couple of numbers. Um, we have done some public demonstrations of engineering samples of Epic, and we see tremendous performance benefit. Whether you're talking about memory-bound workloads uh, like 
on the first one here with, for high performance computing, or you're talking about compute bound workloads, which include both dual socket and single socket compares, the leading processors in the industry, Epic wins. Epic wins on performance, Epic wins on power, Epic wins on overall total cost of ownership. So we're extremely excited about what Epic will bring to the market. I know many of our partners have uh, put significant resources around making the Epic ecosystem very, very strong. And I'm very happy to announce today for the first time that we are launching Epic worldwide on June 20th. So, as exciting as Epic is, and we are extremely excited about Epic, what we've also said is that the data center requires both CPUs and GPUs, and we actually see incredible growth on the GPU compute side of the market as well. And so we've also developed a new graphics architecture that we call the Vega architecture. And it's not just for gaming and professional graphics, which are of course very, very important markets to us, but Vega will be very, very important in the cloud and particularly with GPU compute workloads like machine learning and so on and so forth. And what we have here is uh, an accelerator that can really offer about 25 teraflops of performance. So very significant performance with optimized software workloads. And just to give you an idea of our machine learning performance, this is an actual performance benchmark showing AMD's Vega processor compared to the comp competition out there running Baidu's defect benchmark. And you can see that we see significant improvement in performance on this important machine learning benchmark. So this just gives you an idea of what we're capable of in GPU compute. And so the exciting thing for us about the data center is not just the CPU and the GPU, but it's really putting Epic and Radeon Instinct together in a system that will give us breakthrough performance. So we believe that by optimizing the CPU and GPU together, you will have the best performance in forward-looking workloads, particularly around AI, MI, and deep learning and HPC. And so we look forward to talking to you more about our data center solutions on June 20th when we officially launch Epic. So with that, let me now transition to the PC business. You know, I have to say, AMD really loves the PC business. Okay, the PC business drives so much innovation. It's over 250 million units a year. And it's a great business for us to ensure that the ecosystem actually works together hand in hand. A few months ago, we announced the Ryzen family of processors. Ryzen 7 in March, Ryzen 5 in April. And we announced seven processors that really changed the game in the desktop processor market. The highest A4 performing processor, the lowest power A4 processor out there, very, very strong Ryzen 5 capability in the 6-core and the 4-core devices. And we really believe that we're bringing a new class of performance to the ecosystem. Um, I am extremely proud and thankful of the ecosystem that's out there with over 200 system integrators with Ryzen family of products as well as 92 motherboards already in market since the March time frame. But today is even more exciting because we've used Computex to launch really the OEM market around Ryzen. And so we have all five major OEMs launching Ryzen-based systems this quarter. So with that, I want to take an opportunity to show you some of the systems that we have with Ryzen. And so let me start first by welcoming Ray Waugh from Dell to the stage. Ray? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining 
was great, and it was a pleasure to be at your event uh, yesterday with the press and talking about your products. Oh, the pleasure so, is mine. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, so tell us what you have. Um, well, first let me uh, start by saying Lisa uh, Dell also really loved the PC business. <laughs> right? We and agree. That's a good. Yeah, so we have a common love. So, um, yeah, we launched uh, three products yesterday. Uh, there are two all in ones and one uh, gaming desktop. And actually, on stage here, we have two of the six that's coming from Dell. Uh, shall we go straight and talk about the products? Okay, thank you. So, um, first and primary, this is the world's first and only eight core. Uh, first and only all-in-one with an 8-core processor, right? And this is enabled through the partnership that we have with AMD in Ryzen. Um, uh, you could pair this with a RX 580 graphics that is up to 110 watts. So there's a lot of horsepower behind this beautiful all-in-one. And nothing expresses this all-in-one better than our signature uh, Infinity Edge display. So you get almost a uh, virtually borderless uh, kind of an experience, right? If you ever have a chance to sit in front and come visit our booth uh, here in Complex, right? The experience is completely immersive, right? And this is uh, VR ready uh, right off the bat. And uh, over here, we have the gaming um, desktops. And uh, you know this thing basically screams gaming the first time you set your eyes on it, right? So we have reserved a huge portion of the real estate here just to uh, be able to innovate the best cooling system. So as you know, for gamers, right, the ability to cool your components uh, is, is, is very important, especially so when you have a AMD Ryzen 7, right, that's enabled, right, to also uh, overclock it, so we know the gamers love to do that. Uh, you have enough expansion ports as well as uh, the ability to support up to two uh, high end graphics in this beautiful uh, chassis. They're wonderful, Ray. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And I have to say that we um, really appreciate the partnership between Dell and AMD. Yeah, the appreciation is uh, ours too. Very good. Thank All you, right. Ray. Thank you. Okay, next, I want to welcome Jerry Cow from Acer. Jerry! So Jerry, thank you so much for our party. I didn't know that I wanted to say first. Yes, please. Acer also loves PC better. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you for all of your partnership with your team over the yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. So, to be honest, I don't know anything, however, 30 years. You guys are so energetic, like teenagers. So. <laughs> wow, 30 years. Yeah. We have a lot of good people. I think so, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Jerry, what do we have here? Okay, uh, first, notebook. Uh, this is so called the casual gaming notebook. Not too many people are familiar about the casual gaming, so let me spend about 30 seconds to introduce. Uh, everybody now think about gaming, think about enthusiastic, very aggressive, the best performance. And the ID is always very aggressive. Some kind of people also call it a little bit arrogant already. But actually, there are a lot of gamers who are casual gamers. What does the casual gaming mean? Casual gaming actually means that you can bring your gaming PC into the meeting room but you will not feel impressed. That's why P casual gaming means. This, this means that you are in the meeting room playing games. <laughs> be honest, I was just playing games here. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so this one is actually Asia's casual gaming notebook. And it with AMD 7th generation and also RX 550 GPU inside. And the most important thing, you can look at the design. It is a passionate but calm design. That means that when you open it, if you want something like passionate, then you have this kind of thing. But you can put in a video room, something like this one. And in addition to the calm design, also has special features, like people of special uh, casual gaming, like immersive experience. So this one 
can be 170 degree full HP uh, 15 inch LCD display and also with a Dolby Audio Premium because it's a true harmony technology so it can give a very good immersive experience of audio and video and this is also Acer's best thermal technology for the cool boost cool boost is technology that is a thermal on demand actually everybody put out a thermal solution into a PC but not only so many people can decide when you need to have some thermal device enabled and with Acer's cool boost technology we can do that this is our notebook Oh, that's yeah. great. Thank you. And the next one, here, it is our Aspire GS281. And the CPU here, Lisa, which is the best CPU in the world right now? Uh, I think it's a Ryzen CPU. Yeah, Ryzen 7 <laughs> inside. And also with the AMD GPU inside. So as Lisa mentioned, AMD is the only company in the world can provide the best combination of the CPU and GPU, and we implement in this desktop. So you can also see this is for casual gamer. So passionate but calm design. The armor shape design can make you uh, people still think it is a passionate, but you put it in the office, you still think that is a power PC. And in addition to that, also provide immersive experience as our notebook. It can support four monitors outside and also support very good audio quality. Yeah. And on top of that, for example, a lot of the interesting things. We have the wireless charging put here. Yeah, so you can charge your mobile phone. So this is a uh, Acer solution to the Ryzen. Fantastic. Terry, thank you so much. We really appreciate the partnership with Acer, and we look forward to uh, great things together. Yeah, we need to work together. Thank you. Yeah, we love Disney. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Next, we have Spike Wong from HD. Spike. Us, and HP and AMD have had such a long history of collaboration. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well, you know that before I start, I have to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we all love a piece of business. Uh, well, Lisa, you know that HP and AMD have long histories of collaboration, many, many, many years. Either from the consumer side, the commercial side, from laptop to desktop, display all in one, or even from a GPU to CPU. Our uh, partnership is always based on trust. Yeah. When the team brought the Ryzen processor to uh, Palo Alto, uh, almost a year and a half, two years ago, it was an unequivocally yes that we would do the Ryzen product without any, any question whatsoever. And, and really, uh, uh, just humble personally, because I used to work at AMD as well, to oh. congratulate uh, uh, hundreds of AMD out there. You guys done a wonderful job of creating that excitement that we've been looking for in the market that we serve. Uh, just like AMD, uh, HP uh, is about focusing on both innovation for our customers and our retailers as well. So uh, in less than a number of days, my fingers, HP will unleash our Ryzen products starting with the very top end, uh, Ryzen 7 800X and our own lines of gaming powers, and other Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5, and Ryzen 3 will be made available as well. And due course in time, other products such as this MV product here or Pavilion product will also have Ryzen processors as well. Uh, just once again, a super super proud of AMD and thank you for the collaboration and partnership in the past. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Okay, next we have Tony Chen of Lenovo. Tony? Us. Should I say uh, we love PC too? <laughs> you can join the party. <laughs> yeah. So uh, first, thank you uh, for uh, inviting me here. So actually, uh, we have been uh, working for AMD for a long time, and we are uh, introducing a really uh, processor in for our desktop CPU and desktop platforms. Actually, current customers they uh, use desktop uh, PC not just for work. They use that for entertainment, such as they're watching their movie so on their Netflix and they edit in their digital photo here. That's why we're introducing our idea center, 510 and 720 here, and you can see that on the other booth that we have a very good product and with the ultimate performance from the Raven professor. And on this day, we are, have one thing I want to highlight for everybody here, that not only entertainment, Raven processor provides multi threading capability that can enlarge and improve the experience on the gamers. We are introducing our level of leading gaming power in this market soon, and this with the latest Ryzen processor plus the GPU capability. And also that we work with AMD and try to make that VR ready and can enjoy the online stream uh, very smooth. 
So with that, I think we can provide very good lighting here, good performance, and good bedding here, and also that the accessibility for this kind of gamer customers. So we are very excited about this kind of new rating processor and try to drive this desktop business together. Fantastic, Tony. Thank you so much, and thank you for the Lenovo's partnership. Thank you. We love BC. <laughs> Okay, and finally we have Derek Yu of Asus joining us. All right, Derek. Thank you. Well, so PC gamers love us. The you know, <laughs> Republic of Gamer Brand. Uh, we're the uh, one of the top uh, gaming brands out there. And um, actually, I would like to start off by offering a little trivia. A lot of our fans are actually. They're probably too young to remember this, but all the way back, uh, one of the, not one, the very first product <coughs> from Republic of Gamer was a motherboard based on AMD platform. All right. So ROG was founded, in fact, on the AMD motherboard. And of course, throughout the years, we have provided a wide variety of different AMD platforms, and they have all been very successful. We are in our sixth iteration of AMD motherboards, and we have a new flagship AMD motherboard coming up as well. And um, there is still one thing that's missing from our brand throughout all this time, which is the laptop, the AMD laptop. And if there's ever a time to get in with the AMD laptop, that was it. And when we first learned the potential of Ryzen CPU, that got us super excited. And we know that's going to make the gamers super excited. And we appreciate the exclusive partnerships coming from AMD and ROG. So, uh, here it is. All right, let's see it. And, oh, there it is. Laptop from ROG it has Ryzen 7 CPUs, 580 graphics, and yes, it does have the FreeSync display, and it is VR ready. That's beautiful. And yeah, and um, if um, if uh, the, if there's still people wondering you know, why do we want to go with AMD right now, uh, this is the answer right here because the GL702CZ is able to deliver performance in true ROG fashion. This device, what you're seeing right now, holds the record with the highest CPU score in the world right now. And, and actually, the nearest second place, watch am using near loosely. Because <laughs> this product right here is going to outperform any other laptops in terms of CPU score by almost 60%. That, that is how powerful this is. And of course, in terms of uh, uh, benefits to the gamers and streamers out there, so finally they can really stream with confidence, high fidelity, and high quality. 
This is it. This is something that people are looking forward to, and I thank you for your partnership. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you. This is great. The, his market starting now over the next uh, few weeks into uh, the month of June. So with that, let me invite Jim Anderson up to talk more about our products and where we're going next. Jim? I guess I guess I got to start by saying I love the PC too. I think we need to change that into Lisa's tagline. I like that. But, um, Hey, so uh, welcome everybody. It's great to be back at uh, Computex. Actually, uh, for me, Computex is a little bit of a special event because, as Lisa would know, I, my very first day on the job at AMD uh, two years ago was here at Computex in 2015. So Computex is a bit of an anniversary event for me, so it's great to be back. And it's been a good two years. Uh, we made a lot of progress with computing and graphics, and I'm really happy to share some of that with you uh, here today. So I'll follow on to what uh, Lisa was talking about and our PC OEMs. They were talking about the great new desktop rising systems that we're introducing to market this quarter. What I'll talk about is the next wave of products, so the new products that we have coming out over the next 6 to 12 months. So we introduced Ryzen about three months ago into premium desktop, and at that time we talked about how we believe that Ryzen would kind of change the industry. It would bring new innovation, new competition, new choice to the industry, and that would be good for the PC industry, but most importantly, good for end users. And I think now, three months later, you can already see some of those really positive impacts uh, to the industry. But we're just getting started. We're just started with Ryzen. We're going to roll out Ryzen to each one of the PC segments over the next 6 to 12 months. So I'm very happy to say today I've got new product updates, uh, new product demonstrations that have never been seen before. And this is for both notebook systems and desktop systems. So we'll talk about Ryzen Mobile today, which is a combination of our new Zen cores and our new graphics cores integrated into a single device. And then on desktops, we'll talk about an all-new, very high-end desktop platform that we're bringing to market this summer. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with uh, mobile. And uh, our Ryzen Mobile processor, we're bringing that to first to consumer premium mobile systems, notebook systems in the second half of this year. And we've already been working very diligently with our PC OEMs for many months now on new systems designed around Ryzen Mobile. So when Ryzen Mobile comes out, you'll see beautiful two-in-one and convertible systems. You'll see really nice, uh, thin and light, ultra-portable systems and great gaming systems. Ryzen Mobile will be a great gaming processor. You'll see really nice, thin and light gaming systems. And then in the first half of next year, you'll see some really compelling commercial designs for our enterprise customers as well. Now, I think the reason that you're seeing all these new systems, you'll see these new systems coming from uh, Ryzen, is because of the strength of the product itself. And so I want to start by talking a little bit about the product and some of its strengths. So this is uh, Ryzen Mobile. And Ryzen Mobile is really a combination of three key ingredients. The first one is, of course, the processor. So that great, that powerful and efficient Zen processor that we brought first to high-end desktop, now we bring to mobile as well. And that'll boost our CPU performance by over 50% versus the generation that we have in market today. That's a huge step up in CPU performance with Ryzen Mobile. And then the second key ingredient is, of course, graphics performance. Graphics performance is key to that great gaming experience. Ryzen Mobile will include Vega Graphics, that's our newest graphics core, brand new graphics core, will be integrated into the same die with the Zen processor, integrated together. And that will boost our graphics performance by over 40% as well. So that's a tremendous step up in graphics performance, and that will deliver just a phenomenal uh, smooth gaming experience. And then the third ingredient, and this is just as important as CPU, CPU and GPU performance, is power efficiency. With Ryzen Mobile, we put a tremendous amount of focus on power efficiency. And so we're going to deliver that CPU gain and that GPU performance gain at roughly half the power of our current generation that we have in market today. And so this is going to be a phenomenal part when it comes out. Um, we're really excited about the collaboration that we have with all of our PC OEMs. And for the first time here today, I actually want to show you Ryzen Mobile. So this is... This is Ryzen Mobile right here. Beautiful, thin, very small processor. 
This will have a tremendous amount of CPU and GPU performance in a very small format. So, but it's, it's nice for me to be able to show you the product, but I also want, us, want you to see the product in action, so I'm going to ask Kevin Lindsay to come up here on stage. Kevin, okay. can you show us this great processor in action? I'd love to. So what I'm, I have here in my hands is an actual two-in-one notebook that is using the Ryzen mobile processor. So this is a beautiful prototype notebook using an engineering sample, and you can see the two-in-one action on the convertible hinge. And so right now, you see a sub-15 millimeter notebook running Ryzen Mobile with four cores and eight threads of Zen CPU goodness plus Vega graphics, all in this incredible form factor and all at this very, very low power. What we're showing it here is running a video, and up in the right-hand corner, you can see that this is actually four Zen cores and eight threads which is an amazing amount of computational horsepower in this very, very small notebook. So this is just a hint of what we have to come, but it's great to see Ryzen Mobile up and running. We can't wait to get it to market with our wonderful OEM partners here coming in the second half of the year. Beautiful. Thanks, Kevin. All right, Appreciate thank you, it. Jim. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's Ryzen Mobile, and you'll hear more about Ryzen Mobile, uh, more of the details around it as we get closer to launch. Now let's, uh, let's switch gears. Let's talk about desktop. Now, uh, we introduced Ryzen into premium desktop systems about three months ago. And the reaction from the market, from end users, has been fantastic to Ryzen. And I think that the reason for the great reaction, the great momentum around Ryzen, is really because of the competitiveness of the product itself. So we've introduced seven versions of Ryzen into the market. And uh, this chart actually shows all seven of those versions. And what it shows is each one of those Ryzen processors compared to its nearest price Intel competitor in the market today as well. And what this is showing is relative CPU performance, relative multi-threaded performance. And what you can see is up and down the retail pricing stack, Ryzen is delivering just a tremendous amount of performance advantage versus our competitor. I mean, anywhere from 30% performance of advantage to over 70% better performance versus the Intel processor. And this Ryzen is really setting a whole new bar for performance in premium desktop systems. And it's not just benchmarks that we're winning on with Ryzen, it's real end user applications as well. So what this chart is showing is this is uh, publicly available third party data, so you can find this data yourself. And this is showing uh, Ryzen processor relative to Intel processor. So the Ryzen processor is shown in the in the orange line, the Intel processor in blue. And this is showing a range of different customer workloads. And what this is showing is that the Ryzen processor is outperforming the Intel processor by a tremendous margin. And here we're comparing our best Ryzen 5 processor against Intel's best Core i5 processor. And in consumer applications like video encoding, like content creation, uh, like encryption, over 50% performance advantage versus the competition. And then in some of those new and growing applications like game streaming, so game streaming is where you're playing an interactive game, maybe it's eSports, and then you're streaming that experience live to your friends or your fans at the same time. Ryzen 5 is a great processor for that. The Intel Core i5 processor actually can't handle that workload. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. And then Ryzen 5 is a great gaming processor as well, whether it's premium gaming, 4K, VR, or lower resolution gaming. So if you look at the Ryzen processor, it's really kind of the best all-around processor for premium desktop. But rather than look at the benchmarks, uh, let's take a look at it in action again. So Kevin, can you show us a competitive demo? I'd love to. I'd love to. So let's, uh, so let's look at the Ryzen 5 1600X in action. Before we look at the demo, though, um, one, one confirmation from external sources that Ryzen, that Ryzen 5 1600X that you talked about is a great processor. It was actually named the CPU uh, of the year from the European Hardware Award. This just happened in the last week, so we're really proud of that. We thought we'd like to show, um, hey, it's not just AMD that thinks this product is good. Uh, Third-party reviewers are saying the same thing as well. That's great. So let's see what it looks like in action, though. So let's start the demo. So what you're seeing here is on the right, you see the Ryzen 5 1600X processor. And on the left, you see the flagship Core i5 processor. And what you're watching here is Dota 2, but you're not watching the actual gameplay. You're watching a stream. So what's happening is the player is playing the game, and it looks smooth on the player's side, whether you're playing on Intel or AMD. But when you try to stream it, 
That's where the extra cores and threads of that 1600X come in and deliver that great experience. So you can see the smooth stream coming from the AMD side and the really choppy stream on the Intel side. As a matter of fact, you can also see that it's completely maxing out their CPU. If you look on the bottom right hand corner, that CPU is at full utilization, just playing the game and is unable to stream it as well. Whereas on the AMD side, you're only at 30, 40% utilization and you see that beautiful streaming experience coming through. And oh, by the way, as a bonus, we also layered in some additional applications. So you had a, a, an IM session going in the background. You actually also have Google Docs open. So if you, want to, if you want to game and do your homework at the same time, there's enough cores and threads in Ryzen 5 to do all of that at the same time. Modern workloads and the way people use their PCs today, they don't just do one thing. And that's the beauty of having this six core, 12 thread processor, is you can do much more with your computer as you can see here, Joe. Wow, that's impressive. All, all right. right, thanks Kevin, you appreciate bet. it. Okay, so game streaming, that's a growing application. Of course, another growing application, growing usage model is virtual reality. Very proud to announce today that all Ryzen processors will be Oculus approved. So the Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 processors that are already in market today, as well as the Ryzen 3 processor that will come out in Q3, all Oculus approved. You already see some uh, Ryzen systems in the market today with Oculus Ready certification. And as the OEM systems come to market, you'll see even more systems in the market. Okay, so, so far I've been talking about the AM4 platform. This is the desktop platform that we introduced with Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 a few months ago. But now I want to talk about a brand new platform we're bringing to the market. Um, this is my favorite part of uh, today. Uh, this is a brand new platform targeted at a very high performance desktop. And for this, let's go ahead and roll a video.
So this is this is rising thread breaker. Now it's a little bit bigger than the mobile version of this, <laughs> but a lot more compute horsepower. So we're really excited about this product. Now it's fun to show the product, but even better to see it in action. So we're going to ask Kevin to come up one more time. All right, this is my let's favorite. See this, let's see this big bad boy in there. Yeah, let's put this beast to work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show a demo that might look a little bit familiar to you if you've been watching our Ryzen rollout over the last few months. When we first announced the Ryzen brand, one of the first demos we showed of our 8-core 16-thread Ryzen 7 was actually a blender demo where we rendered a picture of the Ryzen chip. And we actually challenged uh, the ecosystem to say, can you beat this uh, time on Blender? So I thought maybe now that we're bringing twice as much compute horsepower to the market, maybe we should go back to that same demo and see how fast it looks with Ryzen Threadripper. So let's, so let's jump in. So this is Blender, and you may remember that image. That's the Ryzen processor that we unveiled in December um, and, and rendered uh, 8 cores and 16 threads. You see upper, in the upper right-hand corner a massive amount of threads there in the Windows uh, Pass Manager GC32 threads. So let's run the render. I'm going to have to talk fast because this thing is so incredibly fast that this render completes in a matter of seconds. So immediately it peaks all, all 32 threads and just an incredible amount of horsepower running the latest Blender app, running that same image that we showed a few months ago and done just an incredibly short amount of time. You almost run it twice. Right? Just so I have time to talk about it. Right? All right, so that, that's Ryzen Threader for an action. Beautiful. Thanks a lot. Guys. All right, my pleasure. Right. So we're really excited about Ryzen Threadripper. It'll come out this summer, and uh, we'll put it in the hands of all of those users that really want just extreme performance when it comes to either creativity applications or gaming. Okay, so I want to wrap up now, and uh, I want to say thank you to our PC uh, OEM partners, to our PC ecosystem partners. They've been a tremendous part of the Ryzen success to date. We've accomplished just a tremendous amount in just the first three months that Ryzen has been in the market. But I'm even more excited with Ryzen Mobile coming to market, Ryzen Threadripper, about what we're going to accomplish over the coming months. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. And with that, it's my pleasure to welcome Lisa back on stage. Lisa? Okay, you guys like Threadripper? Ryzen Threadripper is extremely exciting, and it's even more exciting when you can see what we can do in a system together. And what I started with is AMD is about high-performance computing, both high-performance CPUs as well as high-performance GPUs. So I have a couple more demos I want to show you before we close today. And let me start first with Vega. Vega, as I said earlier, is a very, very exciting new architecture for us in the GPU space. It was really designed for future workloads, and it has the world's most advanced GPU memory with high bandwidth memory, and the idea that you want to handle big, big data sets. So earlier I talked about Vega as part of the Radeon Instinct line for machine learning. What I want to do now is show you Vega in another context. And really, we announced several weeks ago that the very first Vega edition will actually be the Radeon Vega Frontier edition. And the idea here was really designing for uh, the professional data scientists, visualization professionals, content creators, product designers, people who could really use all of the power of Vega. And with 25 teraflops and 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory, it's an extremely powerful GPU. But today, what I want to show you for the first time is not just Frontier, Radeon Frontier Vega, but what I want to show you is Frontier Edition running with Threadripper. And I've heard some of you um, liked the 64 PCI Express lanes of Threadripper. Is that right? But part of the reason we designed it that way is so that we really could handle some of the most complex applications in the world. And so the demo that I want to show you today is Threadripper running with the Frontier Edition, but not just one or two GPUs. I want to show you Threadripper with four Radeon Vega Frontier Edition GPUs. Omar, can we start the demo, please? And what this is showing you is really high-performance computing in action. So you see the 32 uh, threads 
running uh, up there, over, and then you see that the GPU count is four GPUs. And what this is running is Blender with the Radeon Pro Render plugin. And what it basically is, is an opportunity to visualize a very complex render um, over here. And you can see that every time Omar is actually moving, the photorealism comes in to really recreate the image. And if you think of what content creators really want to do, and professional designers, they want to be able to look at images from every different angle and move back and forth and look at what it looks like in different um, aspect ratios. You basically can't do this without the horsepower of Threadripper with the four Frontier Edition GPUs. And this is really an example of high-performance computing at its best when you optimize the CPU and GPU together. So, what do you guys think? I want to thank you. So, with the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition, what we said is it will be the first to launch and I'm proud to tell you today that it will be available in market starting June 27th, just in a couple of weeks. So the feedback on this has been tremendous. There's a lot of excitement around what we can do with Vega. And as we pair Vega with Ryzen and Ryzen Threadripper, there are lots and lots of opportunities. Now, the last demo I want to show you is one around gaming. And there are a lot of gaming, uh, gamers in this world as uh, Derek said earlier, and they're all enthusiastically waiting for Radeon RX Vega. And we love gamers as part of AMD. And what we wanted to show you today is, again, Threadripper running with the dual Radeon RX Vega that looks really, really gorgeous. So, Omar, can we run this demo, please? And what we're doing here is we're playing the new Bethesda title, Prey, on ultra settings at 4K resolution. So this is Ryzen Predator, so 16 cores, 32 threads, feeding two RX Radeon Vega GCUs. And we're going to let Omar go a little bit through a few scenes, right Omar? <laughs> Well, what you see is, again, beautiful game performance at 4K in ultra-high settings with the Threadripper and two Radeon Vega GPUs. And our message is that for the true enthusiast class performance capability, um, this combination will be an incredible combination available with Threadripper and Vega. So, again, thank you very much, Omar. And again, we know there's a lot of excitement around Radeon RX Vega, and so our goal is to make sure that we satisfy all of that excitement. And I'm also going to tell you for the first time today that the Radeon RX Vega will be launched at SIGGRAPH at the end of July in Los Angeles um, for 2017. And again, we chose SIGGRAPH because we believe that for high-performance graphics and all the content creation capability there, that this is the perfect place to showcase the Vega product body. So we are extremely excited. You're going to see a lot about Ryzen, Threadripper, Vega over the next uh, couple of months as we launch some of these products. But when I said AMD stands for high performance computing, I was very clear that we are putting our money where our mouth is. So with that, I'd like to wrap up today's press conference. Our goal was to give you an idea of everything that we have going on at AMD. I can tell you, we have never been busier. We have never had more products um, getting ready to go in the market. We have a tremendous amount of excitement um, in the PC ecosystem. You saw it from our partners today. You see it from our motherboard partners. You see it from our add-in board partners. And you see it from the community. Because there is no doubt that the market is a lot more exciting today than it was one year ago or two years ago, because competition is very, very good for everyone in the ecosystem. So I hope you feel the same excitement that we do, and thank you for joining us today at Computex. I thank you everyone here at AMD. We thank you for your partnership, and the best is yet to come. Thank you.